Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will go through some of the most common TCS interview questions and provide sample responses to help you ace your interview. What is Salesforce and why do you want to be a Salesforce admin? Salesforce is a customer relationship management CRM platform that helps businesses manage their client interactions and data in the cloud. As a Salesforce admin, I am interested in leveraging my technical skills and experience to help organizations optimize their use of Salesforce and achieve their business goals. I am excited about the opportunity to help teams work more efficiently and effectively by creating customized solutions that align with their unique needs. In Salesforce, how do you handle user management? In Salesforce, user management entails creating and managing user accounts, assigning rights and access levels, and defining custom profiles and roles. As a Salesforce admin, I prioritize security and ensure that users only have access to the data and functions they need to perform their job. I create and manage user accounts, assign appropriate profiles and roles, and regularly review and update user permissions to ensure compliance with company policies and regulations. In Salesforce, how can you make custom objects and fields? To build a custom object in Salesforce, I'd go to the Object Manager and then click the New Custom Object button. From there, I would define the object name, label, plural label, and description. I would then select the appropriate settings, such as the object's record name format and the object's search layout. To create custom fields in Salesforce, I would navigate to the Fields Relationships section of the object and click on the New button. From there, I would select the field type, define the field properties, and add the field to the appropriate page layouts. What is the distinction in Salesforce between a standard object and a custom object? A standard object is one that Salesforce provides, such as leads, contacts, and opportunities. Custom objects, on the other hand, are objects created by the user to satisfy unique business requirements. Custom objects are typically used to track unique data or processes that are not covered by the standard objects, can you describe the different types of relationships in Salesforce? There are several types of relationships in Salesforce, including lookup relationship, a relationship between two objects where one object holds a reference to the other, Alster detail relationship, a relationship between two objects where the detail object is always associated with a specific master record, many to many relationship. A relationship between two objects where multiple records from each object can be associated with each other. Hierarchical relationship. A special type of relationship used to model parent-child relationships between records, such as in a company's org chart. How do you create a report and dashboard in Salesforce? In Salesforce, I would go to the Reports tab and select the New Report option to create a report. From there, I would select the report type and customize the report to display the desired data. I would then save the report and share it with appropriate users. To create a dashboard in Salesforce, I would navigate to the Dashboards tab and click on the New Dashboard button. From there, I would select the dashboard components, such as charts or tables, and customize the components to display the desired data. I would then save the dashboard and share it with appropriate users. What is the process for importing data into Salesforce? To import data into Salesforce, I would first prepare the data by ensuring that it is in the appropriate format and that it meets any validation rules or requirements. I would then navigate to the Data Import Wizard and select the object and import type. From there, I would map the fields in the imported data to the corresponding fields in Salesforce and run the import. I would then review the results and address any errors or issues that arise. How do you handle security in Salesforce? As a Salesforce admin, I prioritize security by setting up appropriate user permissions, profiles, and roles. I ensure that users have only the necessary access to perform their job functions, and that data is protected by setting up appropriate sharing settings and security controls. I also regularly review and update security settings to ensure compliance with company policies and regulations. What is Apex and how does it differ from other programming languages in Salesforce? Apex is a programming language used in Salesforce to create bespoke business logic and perform complex data manipulation. It is a proprietary language developed specifically for Salesforce 
and is similar to Java in syntax and structure. However, it also includes unique features and functions specific to Salesforce, such as the ability to interact with Salesforce data and metadata. Can you walk me through the process of setting up a workflow rule in Salesforce? To set up a workflow rule in Salesforce, I would first navigate to the workflow rules section of the object I want to create the rule for. From there, I would click on the new rule button and define the rule criteria, such as when the rule should trigger and what conditions need to be met. Next, I would define the rule's actions, such as email notifications, field updates, or task creation. I would also set up any necessary email templates or field updates as part of the workflow rule. Finally, I would activate the workflow rule and test it to ensure that it is working correctly. If any issues arise, I would troubleshoot the rule and make necessary adjustments to ensure that it is functioning as intended. In this segment, we'll cover frequently asked questions during a TCSHR interview and provide sample answers. Can you tell us about yourself? I am a highly motivated guy who is enthusiastic about technology and innovation. I have a strong background in, mention your field or industry, and have gained valuable experience through previous roles in, mention your previous companies or organizations. I am a fast learner and enjoy taking on new challenges, both personally and professionally. In my free time, I enjoy, mention your hobbies or interests and spending time with my family and friends. What are your career goals, and how does this position fit into them? My career goals are to continue growing and developing my skills in, mention your field or industry, and eventually take on a leadership role. This position aligns with my goals by providing opportunities for me to learn and grow within the company and take on new responsibilities as I develop my skills and expertise. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include list strengths relevant to the job, such as attention to detail, strong communication skills, or ability to work under pressure. My weaknesses include list weaknesses that are not essential to the job, such as public speaking or lack of experience in a specific software. However, I am continually attempting to improve my flaws by state the efforts you have made to improve. How do you handle difficult or challenging situations? I handle difficult or challenging situations by first gathering all the necessary information and then approaching the situation with a clear and level-headed mindset. I take the time to evaluate all possible solutions and then choose the best course of action. I also communicate openly and honestly with others involved in the situation to ensure that everyone is on the same page and working toward a resolution. What motivates you? I am motivated by a desire to continuously learn and improve myself, as well as the opportunity to make a positive impact on others. I enjoy working on projects that challenge me and push me outside of my comfort zone, as well as collaborating with others to achieve shared goals. How do you deal with workplace stress? I deal with workplace stress by first taking a step back and assessing the situation. I prioritize my duties and break down them into smaller, more doable chunks. I also practice self-care techniques such as deep breathing, taking breaks when needed, and making sure to maintain a healthy work-life balance. What is your management style? My method of management is inclusive and collaborative. I believe in empowering team members to take ownership of their job and in giving them the support and resources they need to succeed. I also value open and honest communication and encourage team members to share their ideas and feedback. How do you resolve disagreements with coworkers or team members? I resolve disagreements with coworkers or team members by first listening to their points of view and then attempting to find a mutually beneficial solution. I remain professional and respectful throughout the process and focus on the issue at hand rather than personal differences. What are your salary expectations? I am open to discussing salary expectations and would like to learn more about the role and responsibilities before providing a specific number. Why do you want to work for TCS? I am impressed by TCS's commitment to innovation and its reputation as a leading global IT services provider. I am also excited about the opportunity to work with a talented team and take on new challenges and opportunities for growth. Can you provide an example of a difficult situation you faced and how you overcame it? In my previous role as a project manager, we encountered a major setback, 
when a key team member unexpectedly quit in the middle of a critical project phase. This put our timeline and budget at risk, as we were already understaffed for the project. To overcome this situation, I first took a step back and evaluated our options. I reassigned tasks and responsibilities among the remaining team members to ensure that we could still meet our project deadline. I also reached out to my network to find a suitable replacement, and within a week, we found a qualified candidate to join our team. By being proactive and taking action quickly, we were able to overcome the setback and complete the project successfully. Can you explain a time when you had to take the initiative to solve a problem? In a previous role as a customer service representative, I noticed that many customers were having trouble finding the information they needed on our company website. I took the initiative to create a new knowledge base on our website, which included step-by-step -step guides and frequently asked questions. I worked with our web development team to design and implement the new knowledge base and then promoted it to our customers through targeted email campaigns and social media posts. As a result, we saw a significant decrease in the number of support calls and emails, as customers were able to find the information they needed more easily. How do you handle stress and pressure in your work? I handle stress and pressure in my work by prioritizing tasks and breaking them down into smaller, more manageable steps. I also practice good time management techniques, such as using a calendar and a to-do list to keep myself organized. Additionally, I take breaks when needed and practice self-care techniques, such as deep breathing or stretching exercises. I also make sure to communicate with my team and manager about my workload and any concerns I may have, as this helps to alleviate stress and build a supportive work environment.